guys, it's Sasha, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a full face of makeup using only candy. I have seen a ton of these full face videos go around the internet. I've seen full face of makeup using food, school supplies, art supplies, just liquid lipsticks, highlighters, but I have never seen anyone only use candy. Although, I did see Glitter Forever 17 do a video recently on a full face using just edibles and she did include some candy, but my ideas are completely different than hers, so in no way am I trying to copy anybody. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So first we're going to be doing foundation. And I had no idea what to use for this because I had no idea what candies could give me a foundation color. And then I came up with the great idea of using bottle caps. So if you don't know what these are, they're basically these little candies that are soda flavored. And the Coca-Cola and the root beer are skin tone shades. And I go, that is perfect. So I need to get these bottle caps down to a very fine powder. So I have this little contraption machine thingamajig. It's a coffee bean grinder. So I thought, why not just put some bottle caps in there and see what happens. Okay, I'm actually kind of scared right now. Ready, set, go. That scared me so much, I can't even tell you. Okay. <coughs> Let's just go on with putting these bottle caps on my face. My skin looks so ashy. I can't even tell you. I'm about to get real close up and personal. I don't think you can tell, but I look like a ghost and my skin is so ashy. So that is it for the foundation. And now we're going to move on to blush. This is a baby bottle pop and it's just got some like pink powder at the bottom. Nothing is happening, so it looks like we're gonna have to go with the second plan. So my second idea is to still use the Baby Bottle Pop powder, but to also add a little bit of shea butter, and then put it in the fridge and maybe apply it as a cream blush. So now I'm going to add some of this Baby Bottle Pop powder into this, and then mix it together using one of these. It's actually turning it pink! Um, so I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and we'll just come back to blush a little bit later. Now on to my eyebrows. So I decided to settle for something that is very close to candy and I'm going to be using some Keurig hot chocolate powder mixed in with some water. <laughs> So I opened it and now I'm going to add it to this little cup thing. And then I'm going to add some water. Okay, that should be mixed enough. Wow, this is weird. Oh dear. What is happening? Oh, um, what did I just do? No words. I'm just gonna do the second one now. That's enough for the eyebrows. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. And I thought, why not use the purple and pink bottle caps? Every time, I swear, it scares me so bad. Okay, it's probably just gonna flake right off my face. So this basically did absolutely nothing. Now it's time to move on to mascara. So I have a few different concoctions I'm going to try, so. The base of this mascara is going to be 100% cocoa, unsweetened chocolate. So I'm just gonna open that now. 
chocolates. Now I'm gonna go melt this chocolate. So I just finished melting my 100% cocoa chocolate. And now I'm going to put the chocolate into these two little capsules. And then I'm going to add aloe vera into one of them and then the coconut oil into the other. So first I'm going to put in the aloe vera. And right now it's very hot, the chocolate, so hopefully this cools it down. So I'm going to add in the aloe vera. It's green, I don't know how this is supposed to work. I've added in some aloe vera and now it's time to mix it all together. So here is our first mascara concoction. And now we're going to create the second one. Time to add some coconut oil. They've like, they're completely separated. So I'm still gonna try to mix them together and see what, what happens. Okay, this is not mixing at all. So this was a major fail and I thought it was gonna work. How sad. And I went to Sephora and I got some of these little mascara wands. So let's try this out. So I don't really know how I'm going to get this onto the mascara wand. I guess I'm just gonna like dip it. Ew. What in, what was I, ew. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? This is so clumpy. We're gonna do this. Hey. It's weirdly not half bad. I spoke too soon. I look like I have poop on my eyelashes, it's so heavy. So now I'm going to try to do the mascara with the stuff I use for my eyebrows and see if that works any better. And then we'll compare the two. It is so liquidy. I do not want to get this in my eye. Time to try this. guys can see this but it's a disaster so I just went to my fridge and I got out the blush that we made earlier and now I'm going to try this out oh you know it added some color it's not half bad but it's not half good either but I just had another idea for blush Ghirardelli dark and raspberry squares so I was thinking that I could open this and take out the raspberry on the inside. <gasps> Is it doing something? You be the judge of that. And now on to my lips. And my original thought for the lips was to use the raspberry filling from the Ghirardelli chocolate squares. So I'm going to put that on my lips as well. Yeah, it doesn't work. Not at all. It's time to try a second method. So my other idea was to use a lollipop and see if that does anything. It did absolutely nothing. So now I'm going to try my third method for the lips. So I was at Walgreens and I saw these Juicy Drop gummies and I was like, perfect because it has this little pen in it that like sprays this sour gel. So now it's time to see if this works on my lips. Ah, it's so sour to my mouth. You know, it's not half bad, but I'm gonna need to add a little bit more to my upper lip. So my original plan was to put sprinkles on my lips afterwards, but then Glitter Forever 17 did that. So I was like, what else could I put on my lips? Nerds. So I'm going to try to put these nerds on my lips instead. But in order to get these to stick, I'm gonna need to add some more of this onto my lips. And I'm gonna dip my lips into these nerds. Oh, this is not working. It's not working. Well, that is actually it for the makeup and lesson learned. Never do your makeup using candy because it doesn't work at all. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking the big red subscribe button 
down below. Also, while you're down there subscribing, you might as well comment if there were any other candies you would have used instead. And I might just be looking at your recommendations and possibly do a part two to this video if you want me to. And like always, all of my social media is linked in the description box down below. I've got Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Musical.ly, plus a whole bunch more. Speaking of social media, if you guys follow me on Twitter within the next 12 hours, I will be attempting to follow back as many of you guys as I can. But wait, there's more. If you guys follow me on Musical.ly as well in the next 12 hours, I will be best fan forevering as many as I can. So you guys should definitely go follow me on Twitter and Musical.ly. Well, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Deuces.